At helpvids.com we've made lots of videos now on eBay and how to use eBay. What people really want to know is how can they make the most money uh, from eBay. Um, and to do that you need to make your item look as attractive as possible. You need to answer and address the questions of the people inquiring about your, your item. Um, and there's three basic areas you've got to address. Firstly is the picture, secondly is the title text, and third is the descriptive text. Now sometimes the, the picture and the title text is all anyone will ever see of your advert. So it's very, very important because they make the decision as to whether they'll even click on your item based on the picture and the description. So I'll give you an example of a good picture and a not so good picture. This is uh, not a particularly clear picture, it's got a confusing background. You want the item to be shown in its best possible light, so it needs to look shiny, clear, with a nice contrast. You can see the background's rather confusing with the item. Uh, if I scroll down, here's again not a very attractive picture, um, with all the tires in the background, uh, poor contrast, and you can't really work out the item. Um, a better picture is more of an outdoor picture like this with a kind of whiter background where you can you know, clearly see what you're looking at. Now the actual uh, title or just text needs to say exactly and concisely what you're looking at. It also ideally needs to um, uh, cover some unique selling points if possible with certain, for example, XT components fitted or the number of gears as an example with a mountain bike. Um, and sometimes you can also search engine optimize your item by by uh, calling it, say, a rally bike, uh, not specialized. Although, and specialized is another brand of mountain bike, and that can be frowned on by eBay, I have to warn you. But it will actually mean that your advert gets looked at by more people as it's shown up on more uh, searches, basically, because you're using um, other keywords in the advert. But you have to be cautious with that. So I'll just uh, show you a few uh, advert. If we look at this one here, the actual uh, text needs to actually cover um, the technical components that the bike in this case has got, um, and it doesn't really provide any technical information as to what you know the selling points of this bike is. Um, it also doesn't say the reason for selling really, um, and he doesn't really create any emotional kind of draw to it, as in uh, making it look you know, really nice or really lovely to ride. He says it's a nice bike to ride, but he doesn't really um, say a huge amount about how good the bike is. And that's important when other people have an option. If we look at this Muddy Fox bike, um, again when we scroll down, it's got very or negligible technical information. He's just basically got the frame size and the number of gears. It doesn't really say what shocks he's using or, or the you know brakes for example. Um, and he's he's you know hasn't really He's given a reason for sale, but he hasn't really got any emotional draw or said how nice the bike is. And that's important when people are buying something, because they actually buy it not because of the technical reasons, but really because of the um, emotional reasons, really. That's why we buy anything. So if we look at this one here, again, it's not using uh, a nice uh, picture. It's using the, the picture off the website, which, again, um, I wouldn't really recommend. Um, this is a much, much better text. You've got lots of technical information, which is very easy to get off any website. Um, and again, here it's got um, a reason for sale. Uh, it's got some technical information about the bike. He uh, vouches for how good the handling and durability is. Um, he's made it good value. Again, you could make that a uni unique selling point. Okay. This bike here, while the picture isn't particularly nice because of the, the contrast and the tyres behind, um, he explains exactly what it is, he explains some of the selling points about the suspension, the shocks, um, he explains why he's selling it as well, uh, and he also lists some uh, fault, which is the front caliper seal, uh, as you can read here. And again, that's important because when someone bids on an item, they're actually also making a judgement call as to how reliable the seller is. And they're not just looking at the number of feedback ratings as you can see at the top, they're actually also judging on the advert as to whether the bike is as it appears. And if you actually point and list a few little defects, it makes people people have more confidence in you as a seller and in the product. Um, I'm always, always very wary of someone that says it's absolutely perfect if it's a second-hand item because very few things stay perfect, especially something that's like a mountain bike that gets abused.